Hi, welcome back to Doug Sports, and uh, today I'm doing a little Easter Sunday project connected to my harnesses. So I have these TRS Magnum six point harnesses, and being six points, that means they've got a crotch strap or dual crotch strap, one connection. And the way these particular ones work, as you can see, is uh, they've got a quarter turn quick release, but the crotch strap contains the quick release. And that's fine, unless like me, you want to be able to run them as four point or six point. And so the quick change we're gonna do is move where that fixed point is on the quick release. Oh, on the back of the quick release, there's these five Torx bits, uh, all T20. So you need to undo those, but also pay close attention to these little silver dots. You see there's five holes, four silver dots. Those are springs and you do not wanna lose those because without them, this thing isn't gonna go back together. So loosen them off, turn it over and remove the bolts. With the bolts removed, it splits into three pieces. You've got the front quarter turn mechanism, the back of the quarter turn mechanism with the four springs and one missing, and then the actual uh, crotch strap buckle as well. So you can put the crotch strap buckle to one side. The back of the quarter turn, we don't need just yet. We need the front of it and we've got to dismantle this further. So, this metal section will just lift out. So we'll do that first. So then we're left with this and we need to remove that metal washer and then the little dowel pin. So you can see the metal washer off. It's only a thin little thing. It will bend a little bit if you take it off. Just be careful not to bend it too much. And then the dowel pin, I got out, I get out with just a little Torx bit. I'm going to hold this between my knees so you can kind of see how I do it. So get the Torx bit in there, just give it a little shove. That'll get it through that far. And then get a pair of pliers in there. And just put it out the rest of the way. I can't do this one handed, so I'm just going to show you when it's done. So yeah, with that pin removed, this black disc now is free to come out and it will pull these pins with it. That will happen like so. So then the whole thing comes apart. You've got uh, four springs have stayed in here. There is a fifth one, which has just stayed on the bottom there. That's not an issue. We can move these around. This just remove the spring from the pin, put it back in there because it makes reassembly easier. So at the moment, We've got our four pins still like this, the fixed one and the four that go down. And what we need to do is swap two of these round so that we can move it to the shoulder strap. Okay, so that's how we want it to go back in now. And you need to line up the bottom of the pins with the springs. So again, I'm just gonna turn the camera off while I do this. Okay, so that's dropped back in. So now we can put the retaining pin back across there and the washer back on. So there's my locking pin back in place and the washer drop back on. So next thing, take that metal plate, drop that back over the pins and we are nearly ready to reassemble. But before we do, so because we've moved that pin and that pin around, we need to move that spring to there. So the back is obviously a mirror image to the front section. So because I'll swap the top right pin, I need to swap the top left spring. So I've done that now, and now it's ready to go back together. Okay, so now we're ready to put the two halves back together, but first we need to get the shoulder strap out so we can put the shoulder strap, Oh. So, so that we can put the shoulder strap over that pin. So I'm just holding that shoulder strap into place to show you how it goes on. So it goes over there. The difficult bit then is uh, doing this all upside down because you don't want to drop the pins. So you don't want to drop the springs out of that section. And there you have it all back together. So the fixed section now on this one is on the uh, right hand shoulder harness. I find when putting these Torx bolts back in, uh, just do them up to a nip in a star pattern and then go back round in a star pattern and they go about another quarter turn 
before they go nice and tight. So there you have the two completed harnesses and you can see I've done one on the right shoulder strap, one on the left shoulder strap. And that's so the buckle is always going to be to the inside of the car. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, it didn't take too much working out and is pretty easy to do in a few minutes once you know how. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and click the little notification bell for notifications on when our next videos coming out.